Hey, 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 what's good with everybody? Kylie Muscle here. Got Mondays with Kylie Muscle. Doing my weekly Q&A for you guys. To stay in tune with you guys and if you have any questions. The only issue I have now with the Q&A money, people asking repetitive questions. Instead of asking a lot of questions that already been answered and filling up my emails, watch the videos Monday with Kylie Muscle to see if you see the answer. Because I just don't have time to fish through thousands of emails answering the same questions. So I appreciate it if you guys do that. And I'm still a little under weather. Uh, you guys might have seen, seen the, uh, me after the dentist. So I'm taking the antibiotics and they kind of drain my energy. But uh, there ain't no excuse. I'm still at it, pushing for y'all. Uh, you know, through thick and thin, man. Bad and good times. I'm still pushing. Been on YouTube eight years and acting like I just started. You know what I'm saying? Putting out more content than I ever have. So I appreciate you guys' support. Make sure you follow me on Twitch. That's Twitch TV uh, slash Kylie Muscle underscore. And all the links are in the description. And I'm going to do a video showing you guys how to uh, stay up to date with uh, anytime I post, you should be getting a direct email to your cell phones. So, with that, we're going to get into it. I'm going to run through them, not going to beat around the bush, and we're going to be straight up. So, here we go. Injury has ruined my physique. Wyatt Norsworthy. Hey, Kylie, I'm five, 15, 5'10, five, and 180 pounds. I have a big upper body and nice right leg. About six months ago, I was hit by a car going 50 miles an hour and snapped my leg, left leg in half and left me with some badass scars on my arms and metal plates in my leg. My left leg is weak and fat and I was wondering if there was things I could do to lose fat in the leg and build muscle individually. I would like to lose fat first but then build muscle so I could gauge when the legs are even. Thanks to God bless. Well, sorry about you having that accident having to go through that. That's terrible. God bless you as well, and the key to that is unilateral exercises. You know what I mean? Do one leg at a time, high reps on everything. Leg extensions, leg press. Uh, you know, those are the main two exercises you're going to be able to do with uh, that situation. Don't worry about the weight, just pumping out reps, 20 to 50 reps per leg pumping it and you go see the results that you're looking for hope that answers your question next question Gilberto Ma Margana hope I said that right hey Kali why didn't you continue pursuing your MMA debut greetings from Belize well Gil Gilberto firstly I'm in my 40s secondly there's not enough money in there Thirdly, why would I get injured and ruin everything else I have going on? That's what a lot of guys don't get. They do kamikaze shit not thinking about the future. Same with weightlifting nowadays. People do a dub shit just to prove I'm strong. I'm, but you fucked up the rest of your life if you have an injury, a back injury, knee injury, shoulder. So you got to think about the future, man. That was... You know, I do a lot of comedic stuff and a lot of people don't know how to decipher when stuff is for fun and comedic. Everybody take everything serious. You know what I mean? Just have fun with life. Uh, MMA is no money in that for me. If I would have started at 12, 15 years old, that built up to 20 and became a pro, yeah. But why would a man do that in his 40s? It's idiotic. Here we go, calisthenics. Dennis Owen, I see you talk a lot about calisthenics like push-ups, pull-ups, dips, etc. Can you really get toned up about push-ups alone? I remember you mentioned on the video you did 500 push-ups a day with calisthenics. Are days off required? How many sets did you do to get to 500? I do push-ups one day, then pull-ups the following and alternate. Thank you for your motivation. I love your videos. I consider you like a big brother. For sure, Dennis. Stay pumped. Blessings to you. Uh, well, yeah, when I was incarcerated, they took the weights in San Quentin in 1997, as I tell the story so many times. 
that's what I had to do. I did a lot of uh, solitary confinement. So all I could do is push-ups and, you know, weighted, weighted exercise. I mean, unweighted exercise, calisthenics, triceps off the bar, curls with uh, sometimes just my hand if they would take my uh, books from me because they didn't want me to work out. So best bodies I've seen do 500 to 1,000 push-ups a day. And of course you go max out at a point and uh but you go stay looking good you know what i mean and so yeah you could you know I, that's why i want to do a field trip to prison to show guys man that man y'all y'all don't get it man you know and it's unfortunate because it's like i'm talking over by everybody head it's like uh i'm before my time you have somebody giving you all this information and you just, oh, that can't be true. That, you know, so God sent me here for a purpose. If you take it, you take it, you don't, you don't. Well, you know, when I was, um, when I first caught my case in 1994, when I was in county jail, did a thousand push-ups a day. You know what I'm saying? I would get 20 set of 50. You know, or 500 is easy, 10 set of 50. You know, if you can't do 10 sets, uh, do what, 15 to 25? You know, so you just got to break it down. If you want it, you want it, you don't, you don't. Hope that answers your question, Dennis. Solitary confinement, due to any gym, Patrick Malagna, excuse me, due to, and see that, a gym-related injury prevented me from working out for eight months. I sort of put myself in an antisocial state and barely spoken in months to anyone. I seen in your real life story you failed this at the prison. It's difficult being so wound up when no one understands your frustration, whatever it is. I just have little to say after being alone for so long. Any advice to get back to normalcy? Well, Patrick, prayers to you firstly. Uh, it's what you want out of life. You know what I mean? Uh, and it's unfortunate. I was just talking about injuries at the gym. People doing idiotic stuff. Don't look at Ronnie Kobe. Don't look at Kylie Muscle trying to do what these motherfuckers have been doing for 20 some years. And most of the time when we do that heavy shit, it's our last set just having fun showing off. But y'all try to do that at the beginning. You're going to get fucked off, man. I'm just, just straight up. Take your time, man. I've been at this shit 27 plus years, nonstop. God bless me with no injury. You see what I'm saying? I didn't do stupid shit. I didn't do it the next bad day. I didn't do deadlifts. I didn't do uh, stupid shit that people do to get injured. I didn't do squats ass to the grass with 700 pounds. You go snap your shit. So be smart, man. And it's easy to come up out of that, man. It's called character flaws. When I got out of prison, I was anti-social hard, didn't talk, but I see that wasn't the way to go in life. So I had to become social. You gotta work on yourself, man. And once again, either you want it, you want it, you don't, you don't, you know. So, you know, I'm keeping it raw and uncut on this one. Let's see, next question. Sodium Machiavelli's offspring. What's up, Kylie? I hear you preach about how essential it is to keep your sodium low while cutting it. My question is how much daily sodium is too much? And what are some of the clean foods, lowest sodium that you suggest? Thanks, Kali, and keep doing what you're doing. Well, Machiavelli, thank you for sending your question. I didn't learn about sodium until I started competing in bodybuilding. And sodium makes you retain water. Sodium is the cause of all type of hypertension, heart disease, high blood pressure. So if you're sodium, sodium is a, also a filler for a lot of foods to make them swell up and weigh more than it is and all that. So if you don't know the size of sodium, you screw. You know, uh, fortunately when I was young, I was able to eat a high calorie, high sodium diet, but uh, I wasn't as cut as I should have been now that I look back because uh, sodium was too high. So I didn't learn about the science of sodium until I started competing in bodybuilding in 2009. And, you know, that was a major factor, man. And to, truthfully, 
You should keep your sodium under a thousand, no more than a thousand milligrams a day. And clean foods, your meats. Be if you like beef, turkey, chicken, uh, fish, and then rice, potatoes, yams, oatmeal. That's your only sodium you gonna be getting is through the meat, which is low. So that's how you keep your. Those are the foods, man. Eggs are high in sodium. Bodybuilders don't eat eggs going into a show because they're high in sodium. Each egg is like 70 milligrams. So, you know, hope that answers your question, Machiavelli. Next question, swole nigga shit, Kirk Johnson. Yo, what's up, Kylie? Big fan, man. Need a little advice for us big cats out there. And I'm 295, 62 at height. I get down three times a week, I eat clean, I hit high reps, but I want to rip up and look prison style swole. I do have some stomach water down there. Is fat burners the way to go or is cardio for like 30 minutes, two times a week good? Help your boy. Oh, my home is getting out of prison looking like crap. I'm trying to do it and I want to blame freedom for my swollenness. Believe that. Appreciate your game and respect your hustle. Salute, bro. For sure, Kurt. Thanks for sending in your question. Well, 295, 62, three times a week, and eat clay. Some people, I don't know what you eat. A lot of people say they eat clay, but it'd be a lot of little. If you're not eating, like I just named in the last question, fish, beef, turkey, uh, chicken, uh, for you, rice. You know, I would recommend rice, oatmeal, uh, Another sort that should be your only source of carbs. You know, that's eating clay. Veggies, if you eat veggies. Uh, fat burners, nothing but cafe. So you don't need that. And I would recommend if you want to get dumb shredded, do cardio every morning, 20 minutes on an empty stomach. You'll get dumb shredded. That's what bodybuilders do. I didn't learn that until I started competing. Like I say, if you're not listening to a dude that has competed, Truthfully and truthfully and truthfully, they don't have the advice to give you scientifically because they haven't had nobody to teach them or nothing, or they haven't with experience it themselves. I've did what about 15 bodybuilding shows, trial and error, uh, listening to different people, and figuring out what's the best for my body. So I went through trial and error, and I'm here to tell you, man, it's. With people like me that's giving you this game raw to uncut, you bless. And God got me here to, you know, send you the blessings where you ain't got to go through trial and error. So, you know, yeah, I would hit, uh, like I say, uh, that cardio, 20 minutes in the morning, empty stomach on the treadmill or something. At 3.0 on that treadmill, you get dub shredded. Keep that sodium low. Hope that answers your question. Jordan Wilkerson. Hey, Kylie, I want to be a bodybuilder. When I get older, and I was wondering what job could I get to support this for income and still get my meals in. Thank you for your time. I'm a big fan. I hope the best for you. Hope the best for you too, Jordan. Well, it's, it's a whole lot of jobs. You ain't got no criminal record. You get any job you want. You know what I mean? Uh, people say, you know, people got a lot of excuses, man. And that's why I always joke around and say, I'm an ex-con doing better than people with no record. And why I say that is because my hustle is, I don't have no limits. People limit themselves and so they go be limited in life. You see, you, uh, if you want to be a bodybuilder, get you a good job, get you a good income. There's so many ways now to have an income. Guys was on the line with me yesterday playing Call of Duty, complaining. I say, you go collect some cans, you go collect some fucking... Uh, cardboard boxes and go to recycling places down there. You can, I mean, cut some grass. There's so many ways to make money, man. People just got excuses. I'm not doing that. I'm well, you gonna be broke. It ain't gonna be able to do it. You know, so that's the difference between me and 99% of the world, I see. Next question. I hope to ask you a question. Olerimi Clark. Hope I said that right. I just call him O Clark. When I go for a workout in the gym, I'm having problems working out there or, or other men that keep watching me to see what I'm doing. I don't like that. What should I do to overcome that from Remy? Well, Remy, you know, I'm from a city where looks, 
you know, are detrimental. Your person is looking wrong, you get killed. But if they're in the gym, they have admiration. And I had to, I had that problem for a while. So I understand where you're coming from, but we work out to inspire. So you gotta look at it like you're inspiring people. And you might be antisocial. Say what's up. Hey, how you doing, man? You know, you gotta get cordial because if you know dudes looking at you, you mean mug them, they scared and I've been there. You know what I had to check myself to this day. That you know, it's a lot of people that know me. I can't walk around like, you know, what thinking everybody trying to harm me or something like that. So yeah, just say hi, man, open up, and I mean, that's what you're working out for, to look good, to inspire. So I hope to answer your question, Kylie Muscle question, Aldo Salinas. Hi, Kali, this is Aldo, I'm big for, for Mexico. My question is, how long does it take to lose muscle if I stop working out? Will I lose most of my muscle in a week or in a month? Well, I don't know your structure. Like me, I stopped working out for a couple of months. I lost about 30 pounds you know in three months and it was intentional you know I do it every year I look at myself think I'm too big I have the opposite effect of big anorexia guess it's uh, anorexia <laughs> that's uh but yeah I don't know your body structure I don't know your weight nothing like that but uh it usually take a month or two for you to you know uh probably less than that you know you'll start losing a lot of water weight uh, your muscles you won't have a pump so you get you're deflated so you know I don't know your body weight or that so pre-workout Michael Ridenor hi Kali muscle my name is Michael and I'm a huge fan me and my buddy Caden both had your book and many of your t-shirts I have been working a lot since my injury in football this past season anyways I wanted to ask you what you think or some good exercises mainly to work my triceps and biceps. I've tried many different workouts, but does seem to be working. Thanks for your time. Well, my best exercise for triceps, bicep, tricep, tricep extension with the cable, taking my time, uh, not none of that fast jerky shit, pumping a lot of blood into it. Biceps, same thing. My favorite exercise is that preacher curl, but she preacher curl, pumping 15 to 20 reps. You know what I mean? None of, if you're doing skull crushers, if you're going to it, you ain't getting that pump. And so they ain't gonna grow. You gotta drop the weight, fuck with everybody around you, looking at you, worry about how much you lifted. Pump your muscles with blood, high reps. I keep reiterating. You know, y'all keep asking me the same questions. Is, you know, uh, that I keep on telling you. The same thing, pump blood into it. Hope that answers your question. Hyphy Mud Addict, Argentine Time in Country K. Kali, what's good, fam? Big fan of your work and heavy supporter of the Kali Muscle Movement. My question is when do you use the Arginine? At night, morning, with meals or not? Your help will be greatly appreciated by G. I wish you and Divine continued success and keep pushing. Beast Bowl, let's go. Respect Country K. Thanks. Uh, respect to you, Country Kane. I take arginine as soon as I wake up. I always take it on an empty stomach. I take it about two to three times a day, and I take high milligrams. Uh, I'm taking about 2,500 milligrams twice a day. I take it in the morning before I eat, and I got a video on supplements I take, and uh, I take it before I go to bed at night. And I live by arginine, you know, it's a lot of health benefits. It boosts your uh, natural testosterone, natural growth hormone, open up your blood vessels so you have he healthy blood vessels. And a lot of people are sleeping on arginine, actually. And so, uh, yeah, hope that answers your question. Thanks for your support. Am I too old? Carol Black, I'm I'm a 34 years old. I would be 35 in five months. What I want to know is, I, is I'm is am I too old to get in the bodybuilder? I'm 6'2", 256, 256 pounds. My ideal weight is 225. I want to get swole, but not exactly as big as you. I realize that I'm getting older. I want to have the energy that I had when I was 18. But 10 times better, can you tell me whether am I too old to get 
on your level. Thank you and God bless. God bless you too, Carol. Well, you already a nice size fella. All you gotta do is harden up at that weight you at. Are you too old? No. Albert Beckles, Google him. He done start put it like this. He done started repeating, I think, to working out to in his mid late thirties. The man competed all the way till he was 62. He took second at Mr. Olympia 62. I didn't start competing in bodybuilding until I was 34. You're never too old. You got motherfuckers on stage now in the mid, late 40s, pushing 50. You got people older than that. They got over 50 competitions, over 60, over 70 competitions. Well, that's the thing and the beauty about the fitness world and bodybuilding. There's no age limit. You know what I mean? All you got to do it that way is harden up. Keep your size and eat clean and harden up. And you know, you're not too old to get on my level. I just start till your age. Truthfully, I was weightlifting. I didn't know the science until I was 34. So yeah, I hope that answers your questions. Once again, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Follow me on all social media. We gonna have this thing popping this year. I'm going ham. Getting dumb, stupid, swole again. And we gonna amp it up. And I'm gonna, you know, get a lot of love. But I would get a lot of hate this year. And I'm ready for it. So I love you guys. Keep pushing. Don't stop for nothing. Don't stop your dream. Uh, and my one thing I want to say. Don't believe everything you see and hear. It's a lot of stuff, once again, out in the air about Kylie Bustle. If you don't hear from Bob Bob, don't believe it. Shut those trolls, haters down, man. And, uh, because I'm here for y'all. You know what I mean? God brought me here for y'all. And I need y'all support, you know. So with that, love ya and buff nigga with the body. Cut the camera, nigga. We out of here. Make sure you order your hyphy mud if you want to take your trading to the extreme level that Kylie Muscles on. You see my eyes? Oh, you see my eyes? I'm off that hyphy mud. I'm off that hyphy mud.